This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Rue Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? Today we're gonna check out the charging curve of this Tesla Model 3 long range mid 82 kilowatt hour Panasonic battery. So it has the same battery as the performance I tested earlier this winter. So it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna test, uh, we will see this one and then the, the performance versus. Uh, I call it the classic long range, which has a slightly smaller battery. I believe it's around 80 kilowatt hours. So let's just go for it. So you see that uh, right when we start here, um, all the cars, they hit 250 except for the middle one. So I actually don't know why we don't hit 250 before. Was it because the battery was not hot enough? Because you see, cell temp mid on the further lower days, that's why it's starting to go up, but the, all the for two left and right ones, they are at 44, 45, 48 degrees, whereas the middle one is only at 38 degrees. So that could be the reason why we don't hit 250 um, kilowatt. And also you see that the middle one is throttling kind of early. We are already down to 180 kilowatt, whereas the other ones are staying. Actually, uh, the classic one is charging like a boss. It's flat 250 kilowatt all the way to a brown. I don't remember, but let's see now. Uh, again, I, I'm not sure if the, the speed on the long range, this one I'm sitting in, and why of the left one has been boosted, or if the middle one is slow only because the battery wasn't hot enough. Because you can see the outside, outside temp mid on the mid one is uh, 1.5 degrees only, whereas um, the, the, the left one is 20 degrees and then the right one is 25 degrees, so the hotter the better, right? Okay, then, okay now we see that um, the classic one to the right started throttling, but still at 37%, we're getting 200 kilowatt, really impressive charging speed versus two other ones which are charging significantly slower. So I still haven't seen any of the new cars charge as slow as the classic one. Was the classic one charging too fast or what? Because you see the temperature on the classic one is getting pretty close to 60 degrees Celsius. How healthy is it for the battery to go over 60 degrees? It's over over 60 now, where the other ones are, well actually, huh, that's also interesting, right? Um, so the left one is uh, parked at around 58 degrees Celsius, whereas the middle one is around 50 degrees and it starts to seems to start cooling down a little bit. But you see now that uh, right now, now, um, the, the classic to the right is way faster, but uh, remember that we have two kilowatt hour less, so it's, uh, yeah, it's about, you have to subtract about one, two percent, no, actually almost two percent, and you want to compare, well, or actually, or one percent, yeah, I forgot, uh, at 50 percent, you have only one percent difference, right, if, I, if my math is correct. But you see that uh, the, the, the new long range is actually going faster than the, the performance earlier this winter, so left versus middle one, but it's not that much, we are talking about just two minutes faster, roughly. Uh, but uh, you can see that at um, at the same state of charge now, it actually seems like um, the left and the middle one, they are fairly equal or even uh, it could actually seem like the performance earlier, the middle one, is charging a little bit faster than the left one. So um, uh, that's why I wonder, did, they, did Tesla actually boost up the speed or was it simply that the performance we tested this winter was not hot enough? Because actually in winter, it's kind of hard to get it to the right temperature, but you see now, that right now um, the left and the middle is uh, at around 54-55 degrees Celsius, which seems to be the maximum temperature. Uh, whereas the 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 rightmost one was actually above 60 degrees for a little while, but now it's not throttling. But uh, you see, the classic one is already almost at 90 percent, whereas the two other ones are still at 69 and 68 percent. But uh, right now you see that um, uh, the middle one is actually starting to catch up a little bit on the left one. Okay, okay, what the heck is going on here? Is it <laughs> was it really a boost or not, or was it just summer versus winter? Well, we don't know. We, who knows? Well, I guess I have to test P. Yeah, you know what I can do? I can reborrow. The the, the performance 82 kilowatt hour and test it in summer and see how fast it charges but uh, again in, since that time uh, it might uh, receive some new software updates so we don't know exactly how it was but uh, right now the classic one is about to hit 90 percent this is ridiculously fast we started at, if you look at the time in the middle there we started 2206 so we've been charging for half an hour only little over half an hour and we are about to hit 90 percent already that is blistering fast man let me see uh, i don't remember exactly how it was when the c once it hit 90 percent um the reason why it looks a little bit weird is, okay they're 90 percent okay so it took uh, 33 minutes to hit 90 percent that is really impressive will we ever see that speed again was it a mistake for tesla to boost up that speed we don't know but um uh, you see now realistically the other cars though uh, to the left and the middle they are charging a little bit f slower but it seems like the head uh the um, the 
the light, latest one to the left is uh, having a little bit edge and it seems like uh, the middle one can never reach the leftmost one so it could seem like now the um, the the newest one or the, yeah the leftmost will hit 90 percent first but then the performance in the middle will also hit 90 percent uh, pretty uh, fast after that one so um again uh, seems like okay you get a little bit of speed boost uh maybe i'm not sure uh, maybe at least they boost it up to, so you can hit the 250 kilowatt but um did tesla really change the the curve or not i'm not sure okay I'm taking a little bit easy today i don't want to stress too hard because if i talk too fast then people complain that i talk too fast so let's not talk too fast okay but okay so let's see uh how close are they really okay if you look at the, the time on the top there again 2250 let me let me time it once the left mode hits 90 percent 89.9 90 wait there okay 2252 okay 52 let me see now how much slower is the other one to hit but you see uh even though, okay you see it's only about two minutes slower and also throughout the whole uh, charging session it was just two minutes faster really it seems like there okay yeah so um what should i say did tesla improve it or not who knows it seems like it's a little bit faster i get the impression my gut feeling says a little bit faster and i i actually don't know if uh, <laughs> if it's because the summer winter but one indication though uh, that it might have been fast enough or i mean hot enough even for the middle one that was tested this winter was that i forgot to mention it but uh, you know the afterburners didn't fire we fire up a little bit and then it stopped that could be an indication that uh, the car figures out okay we have enough heat no need to heat it up further or something or it's just gonna let it heat up naturally so yeah uh, but still like i mentioned uh, it still doesn't hit the classic one so um I i'm not sure if i should retest the classic one to see if maybe tesla nerfed the speed again or something because uh, when i tested the classic it also versus um mc hammer I was getting really a big span there like mc hammer seems to charge slower than the car i show you in this one so was it only charging really fast because it was branch banking new and then uh, because mc hammer has been supercharging a lot so i also wonder did tesla slowly uh, kind of ramp down the speed as the battery ages and as the as you supercharge more so I guess one day I have to grab back, <laughs> borrow back uh, MC Hammer and test him again versus, let's say, uh, a fairly new 2019 or 20, uh, maybe at least 2020 model before they did, uh, they introduced the new battery packs, uh, the Panasonic cells uh, or something, you know, so the old one with the 80 kilowatt hour pack. But uh, what should I say? Um, it's still pretty fast, as you can see. And also I've been taking a road trip to the north to uh, arctic circle and back again and i did notice that at least this was v3 we tested that but on v2 it was going pretty steady uh, like it was, it was taking 142 kilowatts all until around 40 percent or something so i get the impression that it has a fairly nice and flat charging curve so uh, for people who are concerned this winter that especially the this was the panasonic we tested uh, here i included i actually didn't <laughs> I couldn't squeeze in the last one, which is the the, the long range. Uh, oh, what was which one was that again? But it was the you know the long range with a smaller battery, the one that is advertised with 580 kilometers of range. That one was charging actually pretty slow. You guys saw it this winter. Um, so this one though, even the the one I'm sitting in now is charging. Uh, if from what I remember, charging way faster than the, from the old one. I think the difference was around six minutes. I think it was uh, to to reach eighty percent, you need twenty eight minutes when it's twenty two minutes something. So you can say that yes, this car is not as fast as the classic one, but it's way faster than the the, the old long range. But again. Uh, what if you buy the new, uh, the, the I mean the, the inventory cars? Because I've heard it from Marcus, I heard it from other people that Tesla is trying to push out these these uh, uh, 580 kilo, uh, kilometer VLTP uh, old ones uh, before. Well, they they still have the heat pump, and they might not have the extra soundproofing that I think the new ones have. So um, uh, this is a little bit outside of the regular charging video but i guess the question will arise once i post the video which is that should you buy the should you buy the old one 
with the, the LG battery. I forgot, it was it was the LG battery. The LG battery was performing quite well. It didn't have the power limit like this one had, but the Tesla did fix the perform the Panasonic battery by allowing the battery to be at higher temperature. Don't suck it to coal. Uh, so I guess I will also be testing that in winter, but. Really, what I have to do is, I guess, ask Marcus if he can get a hold of one of those uh, with LG batteries and I can test it again this summer. And I should also test the performance with the LG battery again, but then we kind of have to wait for winter or at least uh, September, October, and then I can soak it cold in the mountain somewhere and then try it again. So it still needs to be tested, but what we see so far, I'm liking what I see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But as for the LG battery, I can't test it yet. So actually, based on that, I don't know yet. But I guess if you guys want me to, I can try to get a hold of uh, LG battery and retest it again in summer, actually. Maybe Moshkus has some. Yeah, because uh, it seems like it's, it's a good deal because you still get a pretty good car, which is that <laughs> it's advertised to have slightly lower range. Uh, actually, it advertised to have 34 kilometers of lower range according to Tesla. But I don't believe the difference is that big because I was a little bit disappointed that this one couldn't make it to 614, right? So realistically, I would say that this car, okay, can make around 550, but the, the old one can do around 540 roughly. And that is still pretty good, yeah. Five, four, let's say 530 then to be careful 530 roughly on the old one but you will be saving around uh, I think around 2,000 euros by buying the the not the, the the old one so yeah just I guess go for it or wait until I have tested the charging speed and then you can go for it yeah something like that so anyway I think that's gonna be it for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later